Hi, my name is Mathieu Diem, and I have a mechanical background. Uh, I'm, I'm Simon Lessard, and uh, I have a, bi a biotechnology background. And I'm Steven Valois, I have a logistic background, and we're a team at TS from Montreal. So this year it's about uh, supply chain optimization, so we try to give our best to, to, uh, to give the best solution possible to, uh, to the company that were uh, uh, asking us for the project. It was, a, yeah, it was a, a, su a supply chain about docks, so there were several farms around the United States, so hatching farms and then the, the docks were growing and growing farm and then uh, there was a demand by the packer plants and uh, the docks were sick and it was, we had a really a challenging, complex. yeah, it was very challenging project. Yeah. Tell me about the solution then that you're going to be presenting today. So the solution, the, well the current situation, the, uh, the demand was ne never fully met. So we changed some parameters in order to make sure that the demand was uh, completely satisfied. And instead of uh, building new farms, we're only converting farms. So that way we don't have any cost for uh, building new farms. So we use what we currently have. Yeah because there was an overproduction of ducks, so we, we convert some hatching farms where the, the ducks are born, and we convert them in growing farms. So we, we decrease the, the production and we increase the, the space. The space yeah. Tell me about how this experience has helped you uh, at, in terms of becoming a professional industrial engineer or just a professional or whatever career path you're going, you're going for. For me, I think it was the validation of the data so throughout the process, to the process, you always have to check up and double check the data to be sure uh, to validate them and to be sure it's real. You can't just say, okay, my model is perfect, everything will be good. You have to, uh, to think it's not good to verify and uh, to make sure they are the right uh, data. Yeah. I gain a lot of professionalism because I, we, as a team, we act like it was a real company and a real problem. So we make we make sure that the, the solution was perfect and realistic. So yeah, and, and it's the same for me. I was going to say professionalism too. So yeah, for sure, the, this project will be uh, very grateful for us. So as as Mathieu just said, we did a design of experiment that gave us some factors that have the greatest positive effects if we modify them. Two of these effects were increase the number of growth farms, and the other one was decrease the number of hatching farms. So we decided to go with a strategy of farms converting, conversion. So but the question was, how many, how many farm, farms should we convert? So. We, we did several simulation with different number of converted farms, hatching farms into uh, growth farms, and we measured the global KPI that, that we just presented, and we, we, we look at the minimal value. So we found out that the, that the lowest value was 23 converted farms. Come back with this number. Also, for our, for our recommendation, we had a target that at least 95% of the packer plants must have their demand filled on time, which is 63% for the current situation. So our first recommendation is to close 23 hatching farms to convert them in uh, growth finished farms. Uh, we suggest to convert the 23 hatching farms with the, with the less uh, production rate, the lower production rate. This will improve the transportation job. The trans transportation. The second recommendation is to allow the the grow finish farms and the finish only farms to deliver their docks at the nearest unfilled packer plant, which op which is opposite to the to the actual uh, strategy that stipulate that. Uh, a growth finish farm has to to uh, to send their dog to one to, to a specific uh, packer plants, even if it's far. So those two recommendations will improve the transportation.